Good afternoon, wonderful colleagues, and welcome to Takeaway Teaching Part 3. It's Monday the 29th of June, and I would like to introduce you to Marge. Marge stands for Motivate, Attend, Relate, Generate and Evaluate. This acronym comes from a whole brain learning approach for students and teachers by Arthur Shimomura. Now, I came across this research um, whilst reading the Learning Rainforest field book by Tom Sherrington, to which we have two copies in the Teaching and Learning Library for you to borrow at any point. Now, Tom Sherrington really rates this research um, for teaching and learning, and it's well worth a read. So I'm going to give you a brief snippet, and I'm going to go over the five areas of Marge um, from the Learning Field Book. M is for motivate. We need to use energy to keep focused on the learning process, and so our brains need to be motivated to do so. Motivation here can come from learning itself. For example, by framing learning as a big question, we generate curiosity. We want to find out what happens or why things happened. We need to keep the big picture framework of, uh, um, of what we're learning very prominent so students can organise their thoughts efficiently in a schema that facilitates further learning and retrieval. Shimomura suggests that the aesthetic question is powerful for motivating learning. What do you think? How does it make you feel? Why is it good? As he explains, the aesthetic question engages emotional brain circuits and forces us to attend to and organise our knowledge. A is for attend. Academic learning is what Shimura calls a top-down activity whereby we have to consciously attend to the information needed to build our schema from all the stimuli we're exposed to. Ideally, students will consciously attend to the learning goals at hand and will consciously make connections, but it's all too easy for minds to wander. The suggestion here are to capture attention very early on, then to break up learning episodes and to deliberately refocus attention at various key points. He introduces the idea of the three C's, categorise, compare and contrast within the context of a big picture question to help students sustain their attention on the learning goals. I like the idea that sometimes an instructor needs to act as their student's prefrontal cortex, conducting their thinking, encouraging their top-down processing. R is for relate. This section is packed with ideas supported by biological insights about how we store and connect information through memory consolidation. The practical strategies include deploying elaborative interrogative questioning, asking how and why using mental images, analogies, constructing, constructing concept maps and schematic representations of sets of connected ideas and training students to make notes organised in a hierarchical structure. G is for generate. I found this section a superb addition to my understanding of retrieval practice. Shimomura suggests think it, say it, teach it. These are the simplest things to do to improve your memory. He details multiple ways in which our memories are strengthened when we generate information from our memory. If we tell someone what we've learned, we can improve our memory by 30 to 50%. This is all examined in terms of various brain functions and reinforces the widely known retrieval practice concept. However, Shimomura suge suggests it's important not to just re um, restate information you've learnt, you need to say it in your own words. This is, um, this is the self-generate um, self effect. In common with others, he emphasises the implication for effective revision. For the most part, study time should be test time. E is for evaluate. The final element of Marge is that we need to monitor our learning as it happens. There's an excellent exploration of the problem of the illusion of knowing when we are familiar with information, even when we cannot fully recollect it. We can stop trying to learn more if we, if we kid ourselves into thinking we already know it. This has implications for how students should be taught to check their understanding using spaced interleaved retrieval practice with a gap after the initial learning, using any number of self-testing techniques and, linking back to generate, generating information by explaining our learning to others 
as a form of self-testing. Now that was a very brief snippet from pages 14 to 15 of the Learning Rainforest field book by Tom Sherrington. I want you to think about how Marge can work for you both in your virtual and your actual classrooms on our return. I have attached the full document of this research by Shimomura um, to the email, but I just want you to think about how this could work for you. And lastly, before we go, I just wanted to thank everybody for um, the support with Teaching and Learning Takeaway. I'm getting some lovely responses from you. And I've just popped on this slide, just wanted to congratulate all of the people that have shared their certificate for the Teaching to the Top. More will follow. Thank you very much, guys. Have a very successful week. Take care.